Hey guys, it's Cody Broderick here with In What Language. I am currently en route to the Governor's Office of Economic Development, where I get to speak with Franz Kolb. That's a great privilege. Um, he is the Director of International Trade and Diplomacy here for the state of Utah. And uh, he is the man when it comes to being kind of a plug-in for companies um, here in Utah to start learning about international business and export expansion. So um, let's go see what he has to say. I'm excited. So we're here with Franz. He just finished a marathon two days ago, and he looks like a champion, and, and we really appreciate your time today, Franz. First question, what is the greatest challenge that the Governor's Office of Economic Development is currently facing with international trade and diplomacy? Uh, one of the challenges that we are facing is that there is also uh, a, uh, it's very positive, and that is that uh, we are experiencing an unprecedented growth in international trade in the state of Utah. Our exports have doubled the last five years. Our governor now has, and we were the only state in America that uh, did that, and our governor now has challenged us uh, to uh, double the exp our exports the next five years. We have uh, over 80,000 people in the state of Utah that are currently uh, working because of international trade. What are you doing to overcome those challenges? Uh, as a consequence, we decided to partner, to reach out uh, uh, to uh, organizations such as the World Trade Center Utah, to, uh, to the uh, U.S. Department of Commerce, to uh, many other strategic partners, universities, and we want to make sure that uh, our uh, uh, citizens uh, know about our international business opportunities. We have become internet centric. We, we have calendars where we uh, and meetings where we get together, making sure that uh, the uh, Utahns know about uh, the events that are taking place. Okay, last question: What is the best piece of advice you can provide for any emerging company that's doing international business? International business is not for the faint, and faint of heart. Uh, it is almost a little bit like running a marathon. Uh, I ran a marathon on uh, Monday, and uh, there are a few, a few important um, steps that one needs to take. Uh, when it comes to uh, um, international business or exporting, uh, preparation is absolutely crucial. Um, one needs to have enough funds, a, a business plan, a strategic plan, uh, and, and a timeline, an implementation timeline. That's like with a marathon. When we started up there uh, at Big Mountain at 5.30 in the morning, all the complainers stayed home. The ones that were really committed, uh, they crossed the starting line and we were off. And one step after the other, this is exactly the way it is at a marathon. And uh, with exporting, one way how we can do this is by, by uh, uh, having a mentor a mentor that helps one uh, uh, that has done this before, that can, a little bit like a coach, that can encourage you, try this, try that. When you see the finish line, um, uh, you immediately, most of the people, uh, this is the goal, and this is where, in the, where exporting becomes very, uh, uh, pays off. You, uh, the, the exciting thing is that you, <laughs> uh, when you cross the exporting finish line, you do business for, uh, and you've got business partners and friends in other parts of the world. The reward is when the U.S. economy slow down, slows down, international business usually uh, still goes strong, and the converse is true too. We have to, I've talked in my career to many hundreds of companies that have said, if we would have not been involved in international business, we would have been out of business a long time ago. In today's global world, we cannot afford not to be involved in international business. It is crucial, it is critical. 